welcome everyone to Total Nonstop Impact, Impact Talk for Impact Fast. We're right here on the TNI Network. This is Trent Law, my co-host, Jay Bone. Jay Bone, say hello to the people. You know, it is it is really flipping late, Trent. I'm just I'm, I'm just saying. Look, I'm I'm in my gear, Jay. Look, I'm I'm in the Hemi. Everything I'm gimmicked up. You know, I got everything going. You know, I'm I'm coming straight from the studio. We were on a we were on a writing frenzy tonight, Jay Bone. Right, friend. But you know, Jay Bone, I got to say, uh, you, you feel a little you feel a little gutsy there calling me out on the show. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know about they feel a little feel a little balls. I didn't think that you uh you could have done the right thing, but you didn't have the balls. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh what's up brother how's everybody doing in the chat tonight do we have a ticker for tonight jable huh? we have a ticker uh tonight? yes yes we do. I'll, I'll throw it up here as i found it boom there's the ticker all right I, I i got i'm sorry i i i got all excited today because i popped my press play my my pet that wow let's try that again i'm all excited today because i popped my press pass cherry Today. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, you know, Jim, I fucked up the intro because I haven't done this in a while. I'm supposed to say, Welcome everyone to Total Nonstop Impact, Impact Talk for Impact Fans. She's right here on the TNI Network. This is Trail on my co host, J Bo, and this is the Time Machine Tuesday, NWA TNA number 87 tonight. J Bone, how are you? Say hello to the people. That's what I was supposed to say. Now you can go into your press pass story. Go ahead, J Bone. Press that, pass. That's okay. Yeah, I was, uh, I was a little worried because they got about 45 minutes into the hour, give or take a little hour ish long show. Yep. And, uh, and, uh, I, I've, I've been on there before, but never asked a question, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so yeah, I was very, I was very excited to be on with, uh, all the ladies today in the presence of Gail Kim. That's awesome. Mickey James mm-hmm. and the uh, knockouts world champ Deanna Perrazzo and 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 Dr. Ross. By the way. Was he on there? He he like introed it, and that was about it. So son of a bitch. But hey, listen, thanks to Simon Rothstein over for the Impact UK office for for taking care of us. Uh, he's been doing great. Now talk about best BFFs. Our very own Bison, who will be live with Joe and Steve tomorrow, uh, TNI UK impacted uh, Bison and Simon BFFs. J Mo, these these guys are just pals now. W Morrissey interviews, breaking exclusives, where we're getting press from all across the globe now because of Bison interviewing Morrissey about his contract. We're the ones breaking the contract story. Isn't that crazy? I was I'm I'm incredibly proud of Bison for Big that, time. And, and it's gotten some nice numbers on our channel. Um, so uh, thanks thanks to everyone who has checked it out. Thank you for the love from the uh, the 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 wrestling sheet, you know, mm-hmm. sites. I, they gave us love. I can't call them shit sheets. I can't. I just can't. You know, we got uh, press it, everywhere, it, didn't we? Even though they, there's a, a couple that that covered it like right off the bat that I'm I'm not really a fan of, but hey, but hey, they recognize us, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to poop on them for that. It, is J Bone being nice to uh, to fake wrestling news? Is he being nice to them? The Olive Branch will not be extended to all. Okay, not all of them, J. Just the, just some of them, right? Not everybody. I it can't... was my good deed for the day, and then I tucked it away. Can I still play the jingle, though, Jay? The, the fake wrestling news jingle, please? Like, hey, please play Absolutely. I, they've been nice to us, but you know what? It's still fake wrestling news. Most Longing for that fake wrestling news. Don't believe anything that you read on the internet. <laughs> Fuck them. That's what I say. I'll Fuck them. I tell you the absolute most funniest shit that's going on right now mm-hmm. is every other sheet out there mm-hmm. has a different story as far as what's going on with Braun Strowman. Oh yeah, and Bray Wyatt. 
that's the funniest it's part hilarious. of what's going on this fall. It's like, what? oh, well, he's going over here. No, it's NWA. You don't know it. He'll show up there. You just don't know. It's like, really? What the fuck is going on? They this don't is know hilarious. anything. No, they, they don't. don't. No, it, but but they put out real generic. They, they word it perfectly so that they're telling you that they don't know shit, but they still make it like news. It's hilarious. They just need something to talk about, man. Just like the real news. You know, right. they just need something to talk about. Uh, so listen, uh, you know, so big. if you haven't checked out Bison's interview with Morrissey, W. Morrissey, not the Morrissey, that would make Mark very happy. But then Morrissey would have to show up. The other Morrissey, right, j Bone? I don't think you show. <laughs> Are you talking about the the, the rock star? <laughs> the star. Um. Anyway, but if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Big news was broken on there about his contract, so um, it's breaking right here for Ron T and I. All right, we are back. Big thank you to the crew here for holding down two weeks of throwback with different material. I popped two in weeks. on the last one. Uh, they did a knockouts knockdown 2017. Big. Big famous one, a very famous knockouts knockdown. So thank you guys. If you haven't checked that out, go listen to that. And also um random WCW Halloween Havoc 98. And uh that went over pretty well too. And I popped in for a brief moment from Mexico on that, J Bone. So big thank you guys to uh, who joined the crew for that, and thank you to the team for holding that down uh while I was out of the country. So I appreciate it. I made it back safely, J Bone. Much to your chagrin, they let me back in the country. I was, well, I was hoping, I mean, I didn't wish any ill will on you while you were down there. I was just kind of like, oh, he's in Mexico for two weeks. Well, You're like, he's, fuck, leave you know? him, leave him down there. Fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> well, listen, Leaves me to do all this stuff. Nobody shows up. People they're all from, doing great work. Patriot guys. You're a persona. I'm trying to help me. I got to give, give give plug the Patreon. Can you relax Sorry. for a second? Guys, uh, Mark, you're still in the chat. How many shows did we do last month uh, on Patreon or total? Mark had a number. It's like bananas how much we content. We There's two hours of this fucking program a week, Impact Wrestling. We somehow yank out like 60 hours of content. Anyway, um, we uh, Patreon is hot. We uh, Patreon.com slash We Talk Impact. Bunch of bonus shows on there. Fam's Choice. We did a Married with oh. Children watch along. Go ahead, Jay. There's a new video to play for this month to thank the patrons. Play it up. If, we got it in the chat. Yes, you think? It's play it. all set, ready to go. In fact, I did it while I was waiting for you. <laughs> thank you. And we're going to play it again on Thursday, but go ahead, Jay. Oh, they're going to play it again. I'm not on Thursdays because he fired me. Go ahead, Jay. I, I might invite you back. It's <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> hey, Halloween Havoc is airing on the 26th. That's my birthday, October 26th. Nice. Hey, nice. Very nice. Wait, that's yeah. that's another brand for never mind. That's Anyways, my birthday. Thank you, patrons. Here's here's our here's our big thank you to you. Yeah. Love the porn music. Now, I saw a name on there, Jay Bone. Joseph <laughs> Brentar. Joseph Brentar is on Patreon. He is an old school listener, man. That's I'm talking year one of this channel. Like he was listening to when it was the Kyle and Trent days, Joe Brentar. Nice. I'm glad he's to see you, Joe. That's awesome. <laughs> Very nice to see you. He's, I been love a, he's been um he's been a day one Patreon guy. Too, I, I, I did think. not realize that Joseph was a Patreon. I so thank you. Man, he's an old oh, school yeah. listener. Yeah, he's been, yeah, since I started, like, making the videos, he's been on there, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Brian Field with the, look at that, my AW logo, a $2 tip on YouTube, and a welcome back. Thank you, my look man. Look at that. Brian, I got to meet Brian. He's an AAW fan. He showed up wearing a, T, a TNI t-shirt. That's my guy right here. Look at uh, that. You're you're worth a dollar ninety nine. Hey, How's that I'm feel? cheap day, Brian. I hope to see you at the Jim Line Memorial Tournament weekend. It's three shows, two days. I hope to see you at the 29th and 30th of this month. Uh, all right, let's jump in, Jay. We got a lot going on this show. Um, oh, uh, this this show was bananas. There was a lot happening. It's like a not. It's one of those things where like 
not a lot happened, but a lot happened. A lot, a lot was happening. It's weird. I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> no, it, it was. There was a lot in this show, but it's also leading into big stuff coming down the road as well. So yes, it's all. Hey, set we up. got another super sticker for Brian. Look Brian, at that, Brian. Nice. I better see you in a couple of weeks at, at, at in Berwyn for AW. But uh, it's my guy, dude. Real cool, dude. Um, right. Mir, don't don't steal my gimmick with the couch. That's my gimmick now. All right, let's here we go. Now, uh, here we go. All right, so where are we at here? Okay, so now this was NWA TNA number 87, March 24, 2004. Now, I was on my buddy Dave's couch watching this. He had a very comfortable couch, and I was watching it from the comfort of his living room. Dave, who's gonna be on at some point again on the show, anyway. Dave's couch probably got March. I don't know. I'm probably going Chinese food still at this point. So, uh, J-Bone, March 24th, 2004. What's going on in the the world of bone? I was thinking how much it would be a horrible idea to get a tramp stamp on my lower back. Interesting. Similar to a debut that we saw on this episode. Today. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I always laughed how that <clears throat> motherfucker has a tramp stamp, man. It's <laughs> he. Well, what's funny is he covered it up, changed it, or whatever. Now? Somewhere within the last, I think, decade ish, give oh, or take really? a little. Yeah, he That's changed funny. it. Yeah. That's funny. We'll talk about it. There's a big yeah. debut of somebody who's very active today, and we'll uh, we'll discuss in just a few. Uh, okay. Can anyone <laughs> guess? Mark is putting <clears throat> in the chat. Can anyone guess what Mark's tramp stamp is? He does have one. He does have one. Uh, can anyone guess what it is? I'm going to say it's a seductive butterfly. Okay, Mark, it's a seductive butterfly. It's actually, I, I'm going to take a guess that it's uh, it's Morrissey lyrics, like all across, all across his like waist, all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> like a belt of Morrissey lyrics. I'm scared to know what the lyrics are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so let's jump in, guys. We had a recap of 86. So if you did not watch 86 a couple weeks ago, hopefully you're you're familiar enough. You remember what happened. That was the big uh, Jarrett and Chris Harris deal. So that was a great match, but not the outcome we wanted. But this was starting the ter- uh, NWA Tag Team Title Tournament to crown new champions because AJ and Abyss had to give up the titles. So this these were mostly tag team matches on this episode here. So... Uh, Jay, did you by chance write down all the tag teams and they showed the bracket? Or are we just going to go through them? Uh, I actually have the bracket. This guy, I, I wish you didn't fire me. It would have been great to still do shows with you more often. <laughs> great guy with the bracket. He's got a snapshot of the bracket. What a dude. What a dude. I, I knew this was going to come up because. I just, I just knew it. My beard is getting is huge, here, Jay. Look, look out! Look at this, getting thick. Anyway, wow. go on, Jay. So what? While I'm loading this up here, what, uh, what, what do you use on your beard? I'm just curious. Shampoo and conditioner in the sham in the uh, shower. A nice uh, conditioner. Always use the conditioner, but also a nice go. beard oil. I haven't used it today, but it's a nice beard. All right, here were the teams, guys. Did you read that okay? I can. Yep. The new franchise, a mystery team, who we find out in a little bit. New <laughs> Life Crew, The Naturals, Kid Cash and Swinger, Diamond and Siaki, Gilberti and Young, and Slash and Sin. These are your these are your teams for the bracket. It's just the three. It's just the three rounder. That's it. Uh, kid, so it's a, Kid Cash and not so Swinger. Oh yeah. Well, it's supposed to be Swinger. It's supposed to be Swinger, <laughs> which is an interesting interesting team, by the way. And I'd love to get that team. We never had it. But uh, <laughs> so cash and swinger never, never happened. But anyway, all right. So let's jump. We jump right. They go right into the match, though, Jay. They go right in. They do. The new franchise, Michael Shane, Shane Douglas with Tracy Brooks looking hot. She looked amazing, Jay Bone. Can I just, can you just pause for a second? Tracy Brooks looked incredible. You, you, you know why? I mean, I'm, I'm in love. My, my buddy Kaz, I, I haven't, I haven't told him to his face that I lust for his, his wife. But uh, I don't think he'd take that too well. But anyway, she looked gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You'd have to put out a new uh, 
new set of merch dedicated to hunting Trent down. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Similar similar to the uh elite hunters. <laughs> no, nah, dude. She looked amazing here, by the way. So anyway, the mystery team, Christopher Daniels comes out, who is still today Chris Daniels, which I, I fucking can't, I love it. Unbelievable. And a returning low key triple X is back, but there's only two of them, uh, which we get a little play into. Shane Douglas gets on the mic. He's tearing it up. I just really aggressive says he's making noise in this business and uh, their issues between the two of them are done. Triple X comes out. They're reunited. Elix Skipper is shown in a lower third watching. And he's like, what the fuck? You know, like, oh, this is bullshit. You know, like he's all upset. Well, uh, I can't tell if he's upset or if he's shocked that they're together. He's he looked he looked upset. I think he was pretty pissed off. Uh he was because he was been he was trying to get them all together, remember? Oh he, yeah. He, he was trying to reunite them and then they all just been mocked him. They all just laughed. They laughed and they laughed and they laughed and they laughed. Thank you, Marcy. They did. <laughs> but uh so the match was a solid match. I mean, nothing too crazy. I mean, they all everybody performed well. The Michael Shane is not bad in a tag team. He knows how to pace in and out. Tracy accidentally hits Michael, and Triple X wins <laughs> the match. He gets fucking heated at her and starts berating her. Oh. Franchise comes in, stops him, and then she and then uh he storms out. It's so just see, like the week prior, only switched. It's, basically, you know, Mike, Michael Shane had to cool down. Shane Douglas and now Shane Douglas had to cool down Michael Shane. Yeah. The exception is Michael uh Michael Douglas, dear God. Shane Douglas. Michael Douglas. <laughs> I, 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 one of my favorite actors. Shane Douglas. Um uh he, he was able to cool down and apologize yeah. to uh Tracy. You know, and and uh, Michael Shane for going off. This time, Michael uh, Michael Shane's going off does not cool down down and storms off. Yeah, he leaves. Yeah, he leaves. Uh, low key. What are your thoughts on Michael Shane? Michael Shane, you have to keep a cool head if you want to defeat Triple X. You will never defeat Triple X, made up of low key and Christopher Daniels. Without keeping a cool, collected head. And you will never raise your hand to a woman known as Tracy Brooks. Sorry. Thank you, Loki. Very, very uh, planned as we expected. Okay. Anyway, uh, J-Bone. Thank you, Loki. Get that him was, out of here. That was, that was great. <laughs> You're welcome. I right, Get the fuck out of here. All right. This, <laughs> for, if this is on audio, it's great because they really think Loki's popping in here. Remember that All time right? I did the whole Sammy Callahan thing on audio? and, and for, for the audio people? And then some people were like, no way, you had Sammy Callahan. I'm like, yeah, we had Sammy Callahan on. And I broke my goddamn ankle. And it's like, no, Sammy, listen, you're going to be all right. Just take a couple of months off. I am not all right. Mentally, I am fucked. You know, things like that. So if this is audio, you're loving this. I can even do this, Jay. I can turn my camera off. And as far as you know, Sammy Callahan. I say, Sammy, Sammy, leave me the fuck alone. Just come here, come here, Sammy. Just get the fuck out of here. Just leave me alone. I got a bad ankle. Sammy, just come, just come. come on. No, Sammy, ankle. what do you want me to say? Do you want me to say that I'm upset at myself? I'm not upset at Moose. I'm not upset at W. Morrissey. I'm not upset at Eddie Edwards. I'm upset at myself for trying a tope suicida when I know I couldn't do it. The Callahan death machine could not do it. And that's all it's going to be. Sam, Sammy you, Callahan, ladies and gentlemen. You, you're all right. You're all right over there. Well, kind of punched me on the way out. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, Sammy Callahan. Man, bad send ankle my, and all. Send him a send him a get uh, get well soon. Uh, do not put this on Twitter, Zach. I'll fucking no. I, I I don't need to upset him anymore. I'm Please. gonna I'm gonna send him a fruit basket or something. Ooh. Jiminy Christmas. He's uh. I asked old. I asked Bravo. I said, how's how's he, how's Samuel holding up? And he's like, he's he's pretty pissed off about what happened. But I'm going to cheer. He said, Bravo is going to pay him a surprise visit and cheer him up. I said, Bravo, you paying anyone a surprise visit is, is likely to put him put, put him out for good. And he's like, fuck you, Trent. And then he walked away. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Triple X wins. They advance. 
Scott Hudson in the back with Glenn Will Birdie, David Young, and Trinity. Kid Cash walks in. They're talking about the match, the tournament. Kid Cash walks in. And he said, it's supposed to be me and Swinger, but he ain't here. Swinger's at home. And uh, I went back to my roots, my roots, because blood is thicker than water. And y'all got to find out because uh, he doesn't trust Glenn now. He thinks Glenn is a turncoat. So he's like, I have to go back to my roots. And uh, I'm bringing some family. I predicted at this point family. that it is. I predicted who it was. I figured I knew who it was at this point. We'll talk about it in just a few. Uh, and then we get to the tag team match. It's not, it's not Cash and the Mystery Guy versus. I initially thought it was going to be against uh, Glenn and, and David, but it wasn't. It's Glenn and David Young with Trinity taking on Slash and Sin, which was awesome. Good to see Sin back and Slash. I mean, new church music, no Jim Mitchell. Uh, they weren't calling themselves a new church. You catch that, J-Bo? Oh, no. It was... Yeah, you're right. I mean, it was, it was new church music, though, wasn't it? It was new church music, but it was not. Uh, they were not announced as the new church. Okay, they, they well, I suppose that's a, if if Father Mitchell isn't there, then I suppose that's par yeah. for the course, I guess. Yeah, it was weird that they weren't. He wasn't there, but yeah, I mean, he's still taken out. So, but they had the light, the lighting, and the music, and then everything. So, yeah, I mean, really didn't overthink it. You know, I love that song. <laughs> Last year, when I was there for the taping, when I was like the only attendance one for the tapings, and uh, they did the wedding, the Bravo and Rosemary wedding, and he came out to that music. I fucking popped. I was oh, like, yeah, they're like, Woo! and they're like, Trent, you cannot cheer. I'm like, but I'm in the audience. They're like, there's. You cannot cheer if it's only one of you in the audience. You have to cut the whole thing. Retake the whole thing. I fucked up the production, j -Bo. Maybe that's why they've never been invited back. Maybe that's why. No. I've never been invited back since. Is that, is that, a, is that a true story? That's a true story. <laughs> well, yeah. I'll take you on. Take you on. It's like, you know, all these, all, these, all these nerds with the Jericho song with the, you know, with Judas thing. And I was the <laughs> one singing. It, it, catacombs are in the mouth. I'll take you under. And I was fucking. And they told me to get the fuck out of the impact zone. This, <laughs> like never, this, this, never guy, this guy's just holding up production. You're nothing but a selfish prick. <laughs> I love it. when we when we thank you to simply Steve for getting these in here. Uh, when we when J Bone showed me that one a few days ago, I lost it. Like we were backstage here, I was dying. <laughs> I was <laughs> fucking dying at that. Damn near fell out of oh. fell off his chair. Jamo, you miss you miss doing shows with me, Jamo. You miss I the, do. You missed the vibe here. You missed the vibe. I, well, you, you fucking I fired do. me. Fuck the review. Let's just chat and fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> um, pretty basic match. Nothing too crazy. Slash and sin get the win. Nice win to reset them a little bit if they're gonna stick around. Not anything anything of note on this one, Jay? Oh uh, no. It, um, you know, uh, the coat, the coat, the, the lavish coat of sin when he came out. Oh, yeah. I have not seen one like this since the uh, Nikki Six on the 1997 Motley Crue tour. He had the exact same one, only it was bright orange. You look at like any promo pics, like backstage promo pics right before they go out on stage. Yeah. And he has this like ridiculous, big, fluffy looking. I don't know what the fuck you call it. Orange trench coat, but it's all fluff, just like Sin had it. Yeah. It's, and I love, I popped for that. I was like, oh my God, I love that. It's like they're evil and they're like, Bleh. but he's wearing this big, fluffy red yeah. thing <laughs> you know what's interesting i just realized something there's not enough photos of the asylum days shows like when you look when you're watching the show right jay yeah. you're noticing there's there's cameramen at the side like photographers they're ringside i see photographers totally where are these photos like impact doesn't even put them out and like i would think it's like a great time they just belt the photos out of like the championship wins and the ring and the promo shots. Like there's, there's not, they do clips, you know, from plus here and there, but 
Oh yeah. Why don't they, they put just, photos out? <clears throat> they just right before we went live, I was looking on Facebook, and oh, by the way, anybody who was like missing Facebook the other day, it's working again. Dude, I didn't miss it at all. You know that? Like, what I, fucking, I didn't. I've what, been off Instagram social media Facebook, so much. <laughs> it was so great not to have them. It really was. Oh, but anyway, people are just it was like it. It trended on twitter i know number people one. just losing their mind they're like well we gotta post this somewhere the world's gonna end twitter was loving it they were like the number one thing in the world that day right they're like ha ha <laughs> we're <laughs> working you're not <laughs> every time finish your thought though jay like finish uh, what you were saying um what were we talking about um fuck <laughs> the nikki six photographers what were we talking about Damn, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Mark mentioned in the chat here, guys. But listen, don't forget to join the TNI Discord. Uh, we have a link in the, in the description below. It is like the best fan community you can join for Impact Wrestling and TNA, and other and other topics too. You know, um, TNI smashes podcast. AAW talk, AEW talk, you name it. Like we have rooms for everything. You know, right? Food. Yeah. Don't don't feel like you have if you join. All everybody talks about is Impact Wrestling. No, we made pages for all sorts of stuff. And mm -hmm. if you're wanting to talk about something and you want a page made, just tell us because we've made just a ridiculous amount of page miscellaneous sports, mm -hmm. uh, just everything but politics. Just that's yes, all no I'm politics saying. talk. No <laughs> politics talk. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check that out, guys. Please do join if you haven't already. It is a lot of fun. And please, if you can, share that link around, uh, especially on Impact Nights. Share that around. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, so they, the new church wins, and they advance. Now, Scott Hudson in the back with Vince Russo. And um, and then a bunch of talents there, too. Like, he's talking about what's going on. BG, James is wondering what happens if Conan doesn't show, which is, which is a weird storyline about the whole, like, what do I do if K Dog doesn't show? And then, and then Raven walks up, accusing Russo of shunning him. Kind of, he's like, "We're friends." He's like, "No, we're not. You're an asshole." Uh, he's like, Russo's like, no, "I'm just keeping things straight with you." Ru Vince is very calm here. He's he's not your typical Russo. No, oh, he's so completely opposite of what he used to be, and it's yeah. it's we're still getting used to it because he's like complete. But you may not agree with everything that he does mm -hmm. but he's doing it in a way that it's really hard to dispute it yeah and then do you notice like sunny siaki in the background and kind of like watching everything and i'm like what's siaki doing there? <laughs> he's just watching it all but well, yeah um, that, that's what i was thinking too because siaki was there with uh simon diamond and then i yeah. realized later they're a tag team mm -hmm. in the match against uh kid cash and question mark question mark question mark so I was like, oh, well, okay. So they're hanging out. So they're just kind of there. <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of hanging out. It was weird. It looked strange. Uh, I guess everyone's saying it's Inktober, J-Bone. Share your tattoos in the Discord. Mark your tramp stamp in the Discord, please. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not that you can post pictures in the chat here, but <clears throat> maybe you could colorfully describe it. So what, next what is what is right above your ass? Right above your ass. Uh, Don Harris is making his way down to the ring, <laughs> and he gets attacked by Monty Brown. He just beats him on the entrance and beats his ass like all over the place. Oh, I which, love this. Which I was a little surprised about because Don Harris really doesn't put over many people, but he took a fucking beating from Monty. Like he put him over here, man. Uh, I absolutely love this whole thing and what yeah. followed everything. Just loved it. This is this is great because yeah, uh, Monty then gets on the on the mic says I want some real competition and then Sabu comes in and they oh. brawl and it was great. I thought the brawl was fun. It was like chaotic. The crowd was into it. Perfect use of Sabu. You got a thick guy like Monty, a guy like Sabu who Monty could just you know catch and toss. Perfect. Absolutely as, perfect. As much as Sabu, now he's with Raven now. He's yes. like his tag team partner, whatever. His which, buddy. Which like, yeah, which Russo was like, he, he was like, uh, he's like, well, that's my partner. He's like, no, I'm, Sabu doesn't work for you. Raven works for me. So he, they've let you know that Sabu's still going to do his own thing. Here. Right. Like, uh, 
like yeah you still has to listen to the boss you know you can't just you know follow around the flock and be part of the flock and flock you and everything <clears throat> but say well, i number one sabu was amazing here Hit all those things, the yeah. only thing the only thing that i cracked up about and i had to keep rewinding and playing i played it about five times because i'm just sick like that he grabs a chair dives in the ring he's barely in this happens so fast you get if you blink you miss it yeah <clears throat> because monty brown's like on him like flies on shit sabu dives in the ring has his hand under the chair as he's getting in the ring this millisecond he's in the ring monty brown stomps on the chair yeah. so sabu is instantly hurt the millisecond he gets in the ring and then he's thrown in the corner and then he's just like just beat like a you know government mule and then, <laughs> but then sabu comes back and does this unbelievable moonsault for like three Sabu. three quarters of the distance across the ring lands on Monty Brown perfectly. I mean, nobody does that shit now. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of high flying and tope this and suicide of that and all you know from up here to down there. But damn, the, I I rewound this whole thing like five times and just popped for it every single time, especially when he you know, stomped on the chair. I was like, <laughs> Yeah. I love that you can see Monty's like this. angry face right there, like in our in our screen here. Like it's just his eyes. He looks like he looks like an angry John Burton right there. <laughs> like a little bit. Like he, don't, don't fuck with John Burton. I will not fuck with John Burton. He's Jack. <laughs> <Burton>. uh, <laughs> But um, no, check that out. Check it's a great segment. It's a lot of fun to see them just chaotically beat the shit out of each other. So, uh, and we all love Monty Brown. Maybe one day, guys. Ah, oh! Period. Maybe one day we'll see it again. Maybe. Cross my fingers, Trent. Still jacked. I keep getting all the word. A bunch of guys in Saginaw, Michigan, working out with him. Say it looks great. Um, <laughs> so that's a good feud. I'm wait. I'm excited to see that feud take off. Scott Hudson with Armando Quintera in the back, and Team Mexico. This was so. This this segment was so jacked. J Bone. Uh, he talks about how <laughs> Hoovy is out of AAA due to a conduct issue, and his replacement is Heavy Metal, who was a great luchador. I like Heavy Metal a lot. The music and the wrestler. Heavy Metal was awesome back in the day. He's the new newest member replacing Hoovy. So I'm trying to think what the fuck happened here. Like what happened on this? Like what happened to Hoovy? And they go to Hector Garza to start talking as he's holding the cup. And Hector's like, huh. And he starts talking. And then they cut him off. Do you catch this? No, it's no. See, Hector Garza is explaining everything. And then the uh the the Scott Hudson of the AAA guys. Yeah. He 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 goes. He goes, hey, and then cut. <laughs> yeah, they just cut it. In the middle of it, they cut it. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell was that? <laughs> like, oh, <he> just... <laughs> I laughed so hard. I was Me like, too. wait a minute. What happened? <laughs> it's like they pulled out the big cane from the uh, showtime at the Apollo, and they got him out, you know? What's up, Default? Thank you for the welcome back. Uh, so, so, it was so wonky. Like, that whole thing was wonky. All right, Kid Cash comes out, introduces his cousin, and they don't tell the name. They don't have a name. We know. Oh, so weird. No name. And Mike's name, Don was like, well, we don't know this guy's name. And he's this big dude. Today, he's known as Lance Hoyt. This was his debut. Lance in Archer. I'm sorry, Lance Archer. He's Lance Archer. Okay. Yeah. He was Lance Hoyt later on. I think his real name is Hoyt, by the way. Um, that's what I was thinking. But he, at at this time he was known as Dallas. That's Dallas. what he gets. Dallas. See, yeah. And when I when I started watching the the TV stuff after the first pay per view, <clears throat> the uh, the FS1 debut, whatever it was, uh, and uh, it was uh, shortly after that that I started noticing Dallas and uh, Kid Cash. Mm -hmm. So I was I was really 
surprised to see i was like oh so this is when he like really debuts with the company so i was i was surprised pleasantly surprised because i am a huge uh lance archer i've always been a fan of his Mm -hmm. um not necessarily liked what he was booked to do like i i had to go back and actually read up on how long he was where so he was in TNA for about five years. Yeah. Then he went to WWE and he was only there between uh, uh, a year to two years, about a year and a half. Did he and make I thought, TV? He I thought it TV? was, yeah. Cause he was uh, FCW. Okay. Made it to eat the, the new ECW. That's right. Brand. That's right. Yep. And then he ended up going back to FCW right before it came became nxt and then he was cut because yeah. <clears throat> his last match was like a match with moxley or seth rollins or you know, somebody someone from the shield gotcha. and, and um yeah i'm seeing it right here and then he, he actually uh, sorry jay i want to cut you off his last yeah. match was against a it was a losing effort against luke gallows gallows Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was one of the Shield guys. I must be thinking of someone else. Um, by the way, if you've never seen the the uh, Dean Ambrose match versus one William Regal in FCW, please take some time and watch that series of matches. It's brilliant. Anyways, um, but yeah. Then so then Lance Archer goes to New Japan and com- completely reinvents himself with one davy boy smith jr in um ah, i can't remember what the, the hell kill, they were killer elite squad that's it great name the great it fucking is. name dude <clears throat> it is killer elite squad part of uh suzuki gun suzuki goon? Go, goon? Suzuki is it goon or gun one goon, of the I two think. yeah but yeah so and they were killing it in uh gun, in, goon. i think it think it was noah then they went to new japan but they he spent like you know a a good amount of years in japan like completely just reinventing himself and yeah working his craft and then he uh within the last couple years came back to the states more and now he's in AEW, just destroying bitches you know (laughs) yeah he's a he's a he's a he's a tough dude man that's a that's a monster human being so oh with jake the snake roberts i mean that's nothing to sneeze at (laughs) Jake's his manager. Yes. Wow. He's yeah. six eight. I met him once at the uh, Warrior Wrestling here. Nice guy. Big guy. Six eight two seventy five. I mean, yeah. that's just unbelievable. Big son of a bitch, man. Big son. But so it's it's him. It's Lance Archer. You know, and that's that's pretty awesome. It's his. They, this is the. Remember, I swear, TNA had everybody, guys. They, everybody went through. Uh, Siagi and Diamond are their uh, their opponents. Pretty basic match, solid, nothing too crazy. Cash and Hoyt do win and they advance. So uh solid match though. I think it yeah, seems like Dallas cool. does pretty decent for a big guy. And the thing is, I tried doing some research to see like what he did before this, and he wasn't yeah. around much. No, he was he's, he's pretty he's pretty new, but he looked decent here for what he yeah. did. He he definitely knew how to whoever <laughs> trained him, he definitely knew how to work. I'm gonna say that because he was very he did not look like a rookie at all. Like he came off very experienced. Who was he trained by? He was trained by Solo Fiatala. I don't know who that is. Somebody in Texas, I guess. So uh oh. yeah, I don't know. Solo Fiatala. But that's but he, he looked good. He looked good. Uh they advance on that one. Where else we go from? Okay, Scott Hudson over with AJ Styles in the back. Uh he's talking about sitting on the sidelines. Russo comes in and goes, Hey, come on, let's go talk. Let's go talk, bro. And he's like, he's like, bro. I ain't talking to you. I don't trust you. And he's like, it's like Jay, he's like AJ. Trust me, I'm just trying to tell him. Just trust me to do the right thing. I told you I'll be fine. And he's like, No, I don't trust you. You're an asshole. I, you suck. You're not my friend anymore. Yeah. And he's like, He's like, You want you want me to like you? He's like, Give me Raven. He goes. He's like, No, I can't do that. He's like, No, then I don't trust you. So then they they kind of end it. So he's upset at Russo. <laughs> uh, another tag team title tournament match: Chase Stevens and Andy Douglas, the Naturals, taking on BG James. It's supposed to be Conan. Conan does not show up until like later in the match. Um, comes in in street clothes. I didn't mark down who won this one. Who won this the, one? Chip? The Naturals won it. Okay, 
Yeah. I like the Naturals. I think the Naturals are an underrated team. I think they they never get talked about in the history of it, of, of TNA Impact. Former tag champs. I think they look good. Oh, I mean, yeah. Uh, we know that um, Chase Stevens, you know, he's around still. He's in. He, he was there last year. So Chase still in the family. He's around. So I... Um, it bums me out. I like the Naturals a lot, man. When they were getting now, you know, when Candido died, he was managing the Naturals. Can you imagine if they got to go further with that? I think it would have been so awesome. Oh, it would have been, yeah. <clears throat> I, and I'll say this, you know, it, as much as you know, some people, and I, I, I'm probably guilty of it too. It's as far as like knocking. As much as I love Three Life Crew, what they did in TNA, even though they were over like Rover. Um, really wasn't that insanely spectacular as no. a trio, you know? I mean, it was goofy shit, you know? It was more of a ha-ha than, oh, my God, it was, you know... It was light for the crowd, <clears throat> yeah. you know? Um, But, damn, I got to say... uh, <laughs> I can't say Road Dog. BG James takes an ass whooping and keeps on going, and when yeah. Conan shows up, I'll be damned. He did. He looked like a million bucks, dude. He did. When he, when he gets going, man, he is. He's as smooth as a Rey Mysterio flying around the ring. He's. He is something else. People under they underrate Conan a lot too. Like they remember like later Conan, uh, which was also great too. I mean, they, they all the people tend to just focus on like NWO Conan, but dude, Conan was like he was a good wrestler, man. Until he got he slowed down due to injury. That guy could he was he was good at just making a flow go, you know, clothesline here, Irish whip, drop toe hole, flip that. I'm like, holy shit, he's all over the place. Oh, he's, my not, God. he's not a lucha, he's a thicker guy, he's a big guy, he's not a luchador. He so is. he can move, man. Uh, but the naturals did win, they advance on this one. Uh, we had a little video montage, Jeff Jarrett discussing Chris Harris losing the match, and then the road to the cage for uh, whoever the number one contender is going to be for him. Now out of nowhere, Mike Tanay's in the ring hyping up Sting. Did they announce Sting on 86? Or or is this just like, oh, Sting's here? We we did that like a month ago, Trent. I, I don't remember what the hell I had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't over... think I, it was pretty random. I don't think Very they did. random. <laughs> they it's such a basic out of nowhere thing with Sting. But anyway, he's in town hyping a movie. Now, Mark, this is for you. I got something for you here. j you'll appreciate this, too. He's hyping a movie that they're filming, and they're basically going to use the, the asylum as the backdrop for a couple scenes. It's a movie about his life. It's uh, I don't think any, anybody see that movie. It's called Moment of Truth. Anybody see Moment of Truth? I don't think it, I'll take that as a astounding no. I know uh, he it, did something like. Yeah. Around the time of WCW ish, or it was after, I guess it was after WCW ish. Yeah. It was a religious <clears throat> thing when he was getting, he was born again. Uh, it was funded through his church, but it was a movie about his life. Because he remember he had a rough period where he was into drugs and he, he not heavy, but he cheated on his wife and he had a lot of things going bad, you know. It was, uh, it was kind of like a, a being a, a reborn again, you know, a reborn well, again, sh- born again Christian, I guess, you know. You, you want to talk what a little stinger I am, J Bone. You want to know what a little stinger I am, my man? Look at this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got it, folks. He's got the movie on DVD. <clears throat> For all you audio listeners, I have Sting's Moment of Truth nice. DVD. I bought it because a little stinger, that's what you do. I have, Mark, the Moment of Truth DVD is, by Sting. Is it is it good? I mean, is it worth the it's watch? Not bad. It, 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 okay. It's not it's a it's a low budget movie. Yeah. But for what it is, it's not bad. Okay. Sting, Sting didn't have some hugely scandalous life, you know. He had he had a couple years of like indiscretions at at his peak, but it's not some big. I mean, remember it was funded by it was done by his church, um, or like his his organization, or it, it's it's got a religion. It, him being born again is kind of like the you know the underlying tone. So it's like it's self funded in a sense. In a, I mean, it's made by an independent um, company, but I believe it's a company that does like. 
Christian films, things like oh, that. Oh, okay. But um, but I have it, guys. So he's I not have... like banging twelve chicks in the movie. No, so. no, but it's a good movie. It's it's not it's not bad. I remember when it came out. Uh, I'm trying to remember if Dave and I went to go see it in a in a limited release, or if I ended up buying it and bring it over to his house. Apollo's in it too, Ronan. I didn't know that. But that's legendary, huh? How Lakers? Look at that. I got. I, mean, I have the fucking DVD of this movie. Uh, no, <clears throat> Mark saying it's on Amazon right now. Yeah. So, Mark, uh, is it free on Amazon, or is it one of those like two ninety nine or three ninety nine ones? Or guys, check this out. By the way, uh, st- starring Steve Borden, special appearances by Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, Lex Luger, Jeff Jarrett, and Ric Flair. I forgot that they made a. Uh, cameos in this oh uh, so rick flair is the one that's banging 12 chicks in it that's enough out of you jam well that's a, that's a sensitive topic right now <laughs> sorry jesus christ well it's, uh, it's 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 not cool to do the woo anymore so no. damn it i'm trying to like you know canceled he's been canceled he's done he's uh he's gonna be like this it ain't no secret i need a job that's where he's uh, at right well now. apparently he's still friends with kid rock so I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, that. I'm waiting for the the kid rock is canceled thing i'm sorry i still love kid rock hey uh, hey mark can you <laughs> give your mark can you give your opinion on on rick flair being friends with kid rock i would love to hear mark who's also from michigan to a uh to give an opinion on this <laughs> anyway while we're all he's mustering up an opinion uh he says he's gonna be here next week he was made to wrestle he's gonna wrestle or do something next week uh, Scott Hudson with truth in the back talking about his match of the best. And then a crazy Goldilocks comes up and she acts nuts. And she's like, are you ready for a mess? And he's like, cause he's ready for you. And he's like, man, girl, what the fuck's wrong with you? And he was like, he was basically like, what the hell is going on here? So she, they, they end the segment. Paul, this is from 2004 in the movie. Yeah. Um, I, I that, love me a crazy Goldilocks. Yeah. <laughs> this is I need something like he's gonna pass in that toilet bowl discussion. It's <laughs> 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 pretty much what I figured. Uh then we get the match Abyss versus Ron Killings. This match is great. I want it to be known. Abyss is the I think the greatest big man of our time. And I'm telling you, ever in impact history, hundred percent in impact wrestling history. He there's no big man better. I'm sorry to Moose, Morrissey, whoever else is out there. There's no better from a diversity standpoint and a psychology standpoint than Abyss in the history of this company. He is so good in this match. I can't even tell you. I mean, Abyss 2004 is is like peak, huh, J Bone? Like the match with AJ. Like this guy is fucking awesome. His his year. Well, I'll I'll, I'll call this year one. Year one. Still, I'm with you. Yeah, on that. It's it's still pre TVs because I just kind of like blend all this. Mm-hmm. asylum stuff together is like year one ish stuff um damn it's fun to watch him just grow and get yes. better and better and better against yeah i get our truth is like you know you think of him now and he's like oh he's like you know 98 time uh 24 7 champion and, and chuckle 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 but no if you look back at this stuff and yeah, he did some goofy shit with three live crew, but damn, he's amazing in the ring. He really is, which is why he's a you know two time NWA champ. I can't wait for that shit to happen. I got a feeling we're coming to that. That's what's getting built up here. I have a feeling his title run is not great. Is it two time? I remember one. I remember the one being bad. It just didn't make sense the way they did it. I felt it was it was it was great it was a great moment for the first one, but I felt like it was too early. You know, uh, the one they did, I don't. I remember. I thought it was just. But one. he beat Shamrock, right? No, he beat Sting. In that, in a weird way, it was like a. What the hell was it called? <laughs> Lakers, you might remember this. Somebody remembers this in the chat. It was like some weird fucking match that they had, like where he won it without even pinning Sting. It was something so stupid. <laughs> One oh, time, that is on. weird. yeah, one time champ only, but it was a weird thing, man. It was, it was a, yeah, it was bad, <laughs> but um, and it was like kind of like a, eh, you know, it should have been a better way to to get him a title. Well, he was uh, already champ before this, though. No, Abyss wasn't. 
Oh no, I'm talking about truth. Oh, truth. I'm sorry. I thought about, I'm talking about abyss. Oh no, I'm talking. <laughs> oh. I'm talking abyss. Sorry. God damn it, J Bone. Stay with me. But uh, stay with me. <laughs> yeah, truth beat Shamrock. Yeah, but <clears throat> abyss won it in a weird way. I'm talking about abyss when he beat Sting in like a it's like a doomsday match or some weird shit. Um, but yeah, no, the match is phenomenal. And the way Abyss gets him up for the shock treatment, which they didn't have a name for shock treatment at this point. Uh, the Raven comes in, he hits, he has chairs Abyss. They toss the match. AJ then attacks Raven. Abyss, Abyss's black hole slammed to Raven is phenomenal. Oh it's, my it's, God. The chemistry with AJ and Abyss is like chef's kiss. Uh, three live crew comes in. They're brawn triple X. All the heels, all the faces. It's, unload. it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. chaos. Absolute <clears throat> chaos. I loved the one, it. The one thing I wrote down from this is when it's out of the ring, kind of as it's getting started, and Abyss is just throwing our truth all over mm -hmm. the surrounding ring area. <laughs> he lifts him up. I think you know what I'm going to be talking about here. Because <clears throat> he does something to oh he does he, he does something to our truth and mm -hmm. there's a holy shit chant. <clears throat> then he doing? takes truth and he lifts him up and slams him down on the guardrail so that he's you know crotched, you know, like a yeah. <clears throat> and 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 you can tell when he lands that it's it's painful. It's it's not like oh it hurts. Like I landed on my butt. No, the way he landed on it, he's gonna like need to get something surgically removed from his ass. Like yeah. it's not gonna be pretty. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the crowd, <laughs> the crowd does this Mickey Mouse. Holy shit! Holy shit! In my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Like a high pitched holy shit chat. Oh, are you serious? I didn't yeah. catch this. <laughs> I didn't not, catch this. It's not it's not super loud. You can tell only a few handful of people did it, like at the same time near the camera. Yeah. But it's hilarious. Damn, I missed that. Oh my god, play it back because it's right when the camera zooms in on his face and he's like gulp, you know. That's funny, dude. I missed that. Oh god. Yeah, it this was... this whole fight. I mean, I I wish it wasn't tossed out, but then there's way too much shenanigans. In fact, there's a lot of shenanigans in this whole episode that the refs just completely lose control of, like oh, everything. it's all the place. All the place, yeah. But this, yeah, this this fight. We'll call it since it was thrown out. What's called a fight? This fight was just amazing. Brawl, brawl for all, man. This was nuts. Totally, only uh, better than that one. They they call this they call this one back too. They come back to this at the end. We'll get to it. Right, uh, right back to Scott Hudson with Jerry Lynn and Elix Skipper. Uh, I realized something about Elix Skipper, and I knew this all along, but. Elix Skipper has a very high pitched voice. Speaking of high pitched voices, so when he's trying to be tough, it's not working because he's like, <laughs> "I'm gonna tell you right now, you need team, team, team Canada. I'm gonna take, I take you out." I was like, "This might have been what held the guy back a little bit." When he's trying to be a heel, <laughs> it's like Michael Jackson telling you he's gonna yeah. whip your ass. It's like that's what it was. Oh, I love moonwalk all over me or what? <laughs> I love Elix Skipper. Now, I want that to be clear. But that the voice is way too high pitched for him to be a heel. If he was a baby face, maybe. But this is I don't know, it just doesn't work for him, man. When he should be way too tough, I don't see it, man. Uh a lot of Scott Hudson on this show, huh? Oh, it's just a lot of Scott Hudson everywhere. We got this guy again. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna break your damn bell tonight. <laughs> Seriously, man. Uh, they're talking about the World X Cup. Jerry says it's uh let's make it a one night tournament. Demore walks up and challenges Jerry. Oh, this and is so good. What you no, know, what got me about this moment, Jay, is the way Demore walks up, it's like a mirror image of how he walks up today in all the segments in the back. Papers rolled up. Papers rolled up. He's like, Hey Jerry, let me tell you something. I'm like, holy fuck, I'm watching Thursday. Like, that's what this is. It was 
exactly the same voice. It's just, it's Demore. Like he always has been. What a riot. It was amazing. Anything you want to note on this one, Jay? Uh no, it just it all it always leads to because you know the America the Americans are eh, 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 joking. Yeah. <laughs> like, you guys can do what Americans do best. It's eh, 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 joke. Jerry's all pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, so. we go to Don West, and he's got C blue on C blue for sexy. Uh, very sexy. Great shirt. Uh, Mike Tanay and him are talking about gut check. I found this very interesting because it's the first mention of gut check way before there was a formal gut check years later. So they were doing these camps. Gut check was a thing in 04. That's that's kooky. That's awesome. That's crazy. Um, very cool. He said, I was telling people to sign up for the gut check and this and that. I'm curious. Which talents came out of this gut check? Like, you know, who we end up seeing in like later 04, 05 when they get down to the uh, to the zone. Who's like somebody who went through these camps? Now I'm curious. Yeah, because, but... well, it says it says it was going to like happen in like two weeks or something. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so like... I mean, they might air some of it. I don't have a clue, you know, but I'd be very curious to know. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm wondering who this is, or who I'm getting it. Anyway, they show some AAA footage. Uh, Jarrett down there, some other talent. Rudy Charles walks up, and in a very mute voice, because they're they're like, "Oh shit, the microphones are not working." Shove more microphones in his face. <laughs> you couldn't hear anything he said. Uh, but he says next week is official. It's going to be Killings versus Raven versus AJ versus Abyss. Winner gets Chris Harris, and then whoever beats whoever wins out of that one gets the title shot. I can check well, it. and Sting is the special ref yes. next week in the four way, so that's the the plan for Sting to come back. And... <clears throat> Which is funny because Sting's like, "I was born to be a wrestler," and it's like, "Here, and no, you weren't. You're born to be a referee." <laughs> <laughs> here's a shirt. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> here's, a, here's a ref shirt. Shut up. But that's uh, so Sting will be the enforcer next week. Next, that should be a great match too. Uh, oh, yeah. Right back to Scott Hudson. My bell is getting to work out oh, today. One, one yeah. uh, note because you mentioned the uh, AAA footage, mm-hmm. and it, it's because if you blink, you miss it. But they treat like the last footage I remember of Jeff Jarrett in Mexico was when he was drunk right before he went into rehab, mm-hmm. and then ended up going later that year back mm-hmm. to WWE Hall of Fame, all that. But they are throwing shit at him like like you like wouldn't believe. Like this just the one clip. He's walking around the ring, sunglasses on, you know, old school, you know, mm-hmm. heel. And they've they've hated him forever. <laughs> he's so you know, he's I don't know what he was all doing because only show him for a, a second, but Man, last time I saw him, he he had a whole bag of tortillas whipping them out into the crowd. It's like, and that was yeah. when he was drunk. So I don't know what he was doing here, but man, they were throwing shit at him. <laughs> you know, there's a tortilla shortage in Chicago right now. The El Milagro company, which does tor- like the most famous tortilla company in Chicago, yeah. on strike due to workers' conditions and like major tortilla shortage in Chicago. There's a lot of Mexican people here, man. Do you, That's, do, you, do you need me to send you some? I think we got some up here. I'm good. I got. A, I, I was able. To, I bought a pack of the competitor, which was fine. I'm like, why is somebody buying these? They're just as good. But <laughs> tortillas, you big know. tortilla shortage going on here, man. It's wild. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Chris Harris is talking about Storm. Wants to thank his partner. Uh, says he really he's he's his brother. And then he uh, says thinking about next week, what's going to happen, and. Uh, Great promo by Harris here. Talks about his aspiration. And again, he's almost like Raven right here because he's talking about my destiny, my aspiration to be the champion. He doesn't get it. He does. He never gets the title. We know that for sure. We, he never gets it. It's fucked up to me that he never got it. Raven doesn't get it till way later, and it's a fucking disaster. So I don't know, man. I think some of this title stuff was very mishandled around this time. I don't know why, but... You could have gone with Harris very easily. He was way too over to drop the ball on like this. But see, now here's hindsight. what I can't. <clears throat> here's what I can't figure out. I I dig the whole 
okay, we got all these different angles of people trying to come after the title, so you end up with the four-way. I'm okay with that. What I can't understand is the winner of the four-way has to face Chris Harris again. I agree with that. I don't I don't understand that. I mean, I'm not I, – I'm sure it's going to be great. Excuse me. But what the hell? Thank you, Jambo. Thank you. That's the smooth analysis of one Jambrowski after, you know. Thank you, Jambo. I agree with you, Jambo. Uh, it's so wonky. It's like you four have to fight, but then the winner of you four has to fight Harris, who already lost, but is getting put in the spot because Russo feels he got screwed. My thing is, if Russo feels he got screwed, why doesn't he just, A, give him a title rematch, or why didn't he just start restart the fucking match last week? Why didn't he just restart the match? I can't figure that part out. It's a little too um, all over the place for me. So uh, I don't know why. It, it's just a little weird. It's a little weird. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but it's a good promo by Harris. I like that. Now, the main event tonight is a six-man um, six man elimination match. It's for the X Division. Is it the number one contender, j -Bone? This, yeah. Th this is to find a number one contender for the X Division. Now, the the clincher of this is, if you didn't catch it in the promo earlier, there's a big what if. Mm -hmm. What if someone from Team America wins and has to go his against his own team member for the X Division Championship, which is Saban? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hudson, or, um, DeMore was kind of antagonizing that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and name off the uh, the combatants here, J-Bone. All right, so you got Team Canada, P uh, PD Williams. You got Team Japan. Is it Japan or New Japan or just, just Japan? Japan. They're just, just Japan. Team Japan. Yeah. The Sawa. Now, was he in there before? Yes. Like, was he? he the Sawa made Japan. an appearance before, yeah. Okay. For for Team Japan, I'm assuming. All right. Yes, yeah, he did a, he did a, a thing for them. Kazarian's back. Uh, Elix Skipper, uh, Jerry Lynn, mm -hmm. and then surprise announcement of the return, Amazing Red. Yeah, that was cool. He, his, his entrance music has the opening chord of Running with the Devil by Van Halen. It and does. Then it, and then it goes into some like weird other mm -hmm. rock mm -hmm. thing. But I'm like, oh my God. D somebody had to get in trouble for this this is crazy it was great but i'm like okay that's van halen <laughs> someone's gonna fry for this <laughs> so he appeared his debut with them was uh show number 64 which we've already covered about 23 weeks ago so he was on 64 and then his last appearance with tna was the I believe this was the crossover tour? It was the crossover tour around um, with the uh, with Wrestle One and Impact, and he was in an X Division number one contender battle royal at the time. Okay. So yeah, he's a uh, he's you know he was that's 2014. It's been a while since he's been in the, in the fold, but he did a. Uh, I think that was it. No, yeah, that was it. That's the last time he did anything for 2014. Uh, so that's the that is the lineup. There's so now. Here's the order of elimination. I got here. Tell me if I'm wrong yeah. on any of these, J Bone. Yeah, I got it here. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Actually, go ahead, if you got it in front of you, go ahead and name it off. If you got it. All right. right. So Nasawa is out first by Jerry. By Jerry okay, that I didn't write who who did okay. it. The rest of them I did. This is interesting. Uh, number two is Zelix Skipper from Kazarian. Mm -hmm. And then number three is Jerry Lynn from Kazarian. Yes. Uh, number four is Petey Williams. I oh from from Kazarian. So Kazarian's on a roll here. Well, Kazarian fooled Petey into thinking they were going to be allies. Yeah. And fuck Petey. <laughs> <That was great. laughs> they used he used Petey to get Jerry out. Then he screwed Petey. Yeah. yeah. Team Team Canada. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> And then, so yeah, so it's Kazarian. But okay, but why did I didn't get though is 
why did like this this match is bananas like it started out fine turned into chaos and then when it was back down to pd kaz and red then all of a sudden kaz and pd started taking in and out and i was like wait they did yeah that's the crazy part. I'm like, wait, why did you go back to this? It's like batshit nuts. Why don't well, you don't if you're gonna work together, why don't you do this the whole you know double team mm-hmm. on each other and then Kaz screws PD anyways because they're gonna like do a a move on Red. So I'm like, that's why I said the the, the between the refing and just everybody kind of just yeah. doing whatever the hell they want. I mean, my God, Jim Cornette would have had a fucking heart attack trying to like you know make sense of this episode <laughs> yeah i i forgot that they pushed cash so heavy at this time as a heel that was interesting but then oh, uh and, and, and watching him grow is amazing just just oh, yeah. everybody's like i said all this year one stuff is just mind-blowing it's, to me for you it's, it's gotta be great because you're watching for the first time that's it is, awesome it is and just and just knowing that so many of these guys Petey still looks like a million bucks, still working great. Kaz, mm-hmm. best shape of the last decade, no mm-hmm. lie, uh, along with Christopher Daniels. Um, Jerry's still very healthy. He's an AEW now, you know, as an right. agent. Yeah, he's he's working. Um, Red's bread came back now. Um, Red's but- been putting out a lot of, like, tribute stuff and current stuff. Go- I don't know, like, how active he is. And, okay, what? Where well, his promotion, he- his promotion's back. The one he co-owns, House of Glory, okay, just announced their return. So they're back now. Oh, cool. And so Red- I, I wonder how, like, physically active he's going to be in it. Or is he just behind the scenes? I think he was just... No, he was active. And he, he's, like, I think he's holding a title or something. So he's... He's a part of it. Okay. He's a part of it. It's just a matter of um, what, you know, he, he's not going to wrestle every weekend anymore, but definitely right. active. Definitely active. Yeah. Well, because they, they mentioned here in his big return during this match, he was gone like six months. Yeah, the knee. This was the knee injury, right? Yeah, complete, complete uh, knee reconstructive surgery. And, and I'm just... Oh, it just made me cringe because I know my, uh, my, my ex went through that about... Oof, uh, 20, oh, well, over 20 years ago now. It was yeah. back when back when she and I were dating. So I know how awful that is. Like her her kneecap was in like 200 pieces and they had to like put it back mm. together. And, oh, yeah. It's ugh. Jesus. Uh, what's the over under everybody that we get read to make an appearance for impact? I mean, he was supposed to for the reunion show, which got closed down. You oh think yeah, they're digging everybody up, guys. I mean, everybody's coming home. You know, does Red come home for a for a run? I mean, Chris Daniels just came back for God's sake. What about and Red? That's, and that's an interesting one because the promo for his comeback was during being the elite, and then he shows up uh, later that week in Impact. So it's it's all kind of like wait. Mm, see, maybe uh, maybe I might get red, man. We might get red. Mark's saying 100%. 100% chance to be red again. Make make it known, everybody. You want it? Make it known. All right. Red wins. He gets the, the shot. And then we ca- cut to the camera to the back. And it's the same people brawling from like eight segments ago are brawling in the back. And it's like security cam. And they're just beating the shit out of each other. I think we went off the air with this, right, Jay? This was it. I, I thought it was like footage from like the, the Slayer concert next door. I thought that's what we were watching. <laughs> uh, I, this was a, a fun way to end it, yeah. but I felt really bad for Amazing Red because he's literally going up the ramp just about to raise his hand and and they, they cut it off. And I'm like, damn, guy comes back, beats six other guys or five, whatever, and uh, – you didn't even like you could have like went out with that and that would have been great because you already had all this other shenanigans already you really didn't have to well you gotta end it hot you gotta end with a cliffhanger i didn't mind it well yeah because you're going into the four-way next week i get it but it's like 
I, I just felt bad for Red. It's like, hey, you won. Oh, by the way, there's all this shit going on yeah. over here. It was wild. We ended with a big ass brawl. It was really wild. And that was it. That's that is NWA TNA number eighty seven. And that is one that was a fat action packed show. <laughs> Good to go. Like I said, great, great tag matches. Great tag. It was just like a lot of things didn't get furthered. They just a lot happened. Yeah. So it's an action. It's total nonstop action. It's just shit going on for two hours. It flew by this episode. It's total nonstop Hudson. <laughs> total nonstop Hudson. <laughs> Scott, mother trucking Hudson. Hey, how's but, your bell? Is your bell okay, Trent? The bell's all right. She, she's all doing right. good here. The bell. I mean, you, you were gone for a while. It's got quite the workout tonight. <laughs> a little rust. Yeah, I know. I had to make up for it. But uh, the bell did good. The bell did good tonight. But that's it, guys. That's 87. Join us again next week for 88. We are creeping in. 111 is the last one. We got, we got a while. We got about 20 some odd weeks to go. But, uh, you know, if you haven't watched any old ones, remember, our buddy Truck, the director of, uh, what do we call Truck? Director of Operations, Truck, <laughs> of TNI, he hosts a Discord watch along of the current episode every Tuesday before we go on. So, well- yeah, typically two hours prior yeah. uh, tonight we started way late but yes so if you can so if you can if you don't have plus or insiders whatever it is so you just all you just just go into the discord great reason to join the discord go into discord and just jump in the watch along room on tuesday truck will inform you when it's live pop in you can chat with people it's a lot of fun it's a free way to watch it if you haven't seen it and if you're not watching these you're missing out in general great yeah. stuff Great, great shows. Anything else, Jay? What are we missing here? Uh, well, we we debuted something big during the uh, family dinner on Sunday for patrons. Yes. And I said we were going to then officially show it off here, and we'll also, you on know, Thursday? Could, because I know this is a niche group that watches. I mean, we got all the OGs in here. <clears throat> we'll get a bigger audience on on Thursday, but so this is still special because this is a limited audience that does watch these throwbacks. So you get to see this first slash second. Is it so, the <laughs> is it the pl- pl- plummet club t shirts? It's we're it's, plummeting, J Bone. We're we're plummeting so bad. We just sold two more shirts. Hey, we did. We sold two more. Shirts. We did. Yes. We did. And uh, there's even more to show off. Please. There is brand new merch besides the pl- 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 Plummet, Club. Plummet Club. Going down. Look at there, this, motherfucker. Look at this shit. There's two designs Ooh. here. Now, they're both very similar. They both just have different tops. So if you look at them in the oh, sh- on the spread shirt shop, um links in our bio of our twitter we talk impact the one is a, this one is the red variant with the red tni top and this one is the olive tni i didn't know what else to call it i'm like hey it's like olive so the, the lettering is olive and but yeah uh, and we want to thank truck and also the man who designed this is one one of the dead he's one of the best designers in the game uh you can get this on any color t-shirt right jay Here's the deal. If there's you look deal. at just what's in the shop, there's very limited t-shirts. If you want to get it on something besides what you see in the shop, go to the custom section. You can pick anything, any regular shirt. I mean, if you you got a baby, you want to throw baby clothes on it, there's baby clothes. There's men's, women's shirts. There's all sorts of other stuff that's not necessarily in our shop that you can custom make with these designs. That's awesome. That's the great thing about this shop. The reason why I didn't put a lot of just regular T-shirts in is out of respect for pro wrestling tees. And these designs will be in pro wrestling tees too if you just want a regular Oh, yeah. t-shirt so everything besides regular t-shirts you can find in our spread shirt shop but if you if you want to purchase it from this shop because you like the quality of these shirts at the price they are go to the custom section order whatever you can make it you the other great thing is you can you know if you 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 put the 
design on the t-shirt and you're like, oh, that's kind of small. You can make it bigger. You can smaller. You can move it. You can I love do whatever. It. That's Listen, what's another great thing about this. Listen, Jay, uh, we had the design. Could you put it in our, like, uh, we have our Google Drive with our logos and designs. And if you could put it in there, we'll get it to Pro Wrestling Tees ASAP and and, and uh, get them working out this week, too, if you prefer to buy it from them. But Spreadshirt is active. Go and get it from there. I think it's in our private Facebook chat if you scroll up. I'm going if, to need it in the drive, Jay. No, I mean the. Up, 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 Jay I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Thank you. <laughs> I need the. Well, yeah. If I can get the full file, we'll put it in. But listen, who besides Lakers bought a pull, pull, pull plummet club T-shirt, Jay? <clears throat> uh, Justin. Justin, listen. Yeah. Open invite to both of you. Can you one of you bastards please come on this show? Just because I want to hear from you guys live how we're plummeting. I want you to come on the show and be like, guys, this is why you're plummeting. And we want to tell the, the plummeter, uh, if the plummeter wants to buy it, the, the one who called us out for plummeting <laughs> wants to come on the show, you're more than welcome to buy a T-shirt first and come over. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, but that's it, guys. That's that's all the plugs. Don't forget. Uh, Tina UK tomorrow. They go on at 105 Eastern Standard Time. They're running their own ship. They're doing their own thing now. Yes. No more producers needed. They're doing it. They got it. We might maybe just watch them, make sure they're okay. <laughs> just second time out, make sure they're all right. But Bison, Joe, Steve, all live talking impacted, previewing the episode for Thursday. BTI Impact and Access TV recap and some big news from the week prior. They go over that. They've got a special guest. It's not a guy from Impact, but it's someone no. local from the UK. Bison's been doing a lot of that lately. So he's introduced yeah, a lot of UK talent. And that's talent. wonderful that he's doing that. It really I love it. is. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great idea. So good job, Bison. Bison's really killing it. The whole team's killing it, man. Yeah. Good for them. Very uh, so don't forget. Them. Th- yes. Don't forget that. And then, guys, don't forget Thursday, the flagship day, the wa- reaction to watch along. It's... um. There's no more Twitch co-stream, so it's just purely a reaction watch along on Twitch and YouTube. Following that, it is the post-show impact on Action TV review with the whole team, except me because I've been fired. The whole team sits down, <laughs> reviews the whole show, post-show review for, uh, for the episode. And then uh, Tuesday, every Tuesday is Time Machine Tuesday. Over here, NWA TNA Asylum reviews. Don't forget, in between all that, pay-per-views, we review them. Uh, special events, we review them. Big breaking news, we'll review it. Also, Patreon for bonus shows. You get the fam's choice. You get the hit and run, which is me and Mark doing a one-hour condensed. Uh, it's supposed to be a half hour, but it ends up being an hour condensed review <laughs> of Impact Wrestling midday for patrons. You get the uh, Patreon, um, the family, the Sunday family dinner. You get after darks. You get the uh, rants. You get all sorts of stuff, man. So go check out Patreon.com. Slash we talk impact. There's a lot going on. More even being added, guys. So check it out. Consider joining at a low tier. Try it out. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you know, you can quit anytime. There's no obligation. So give it a shot. Uh so check that out, guys. And uh don't forget. So plugs, plugs, J Bo, where can people follow you? Smash this podcast. All this. I do owe you a show. I will try to make it tomorrow. If not, it's gonna be next Wednesday for guaranteed sure. But anyway, okay. Yes. Um but yeah, you can find me over in that other little podcast called Smash This Podcast, where we're smashing a lot of AEW lately because I haven't had time for other stuff. But I've got stuff like lined up for even for a jacked up jukebox. So uh, I'm trying. I'm really trying to uh, get get that just you know yanked it out of. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you can find that on YouTube and uh, Twitch. And wherever you find your audio, uh, anchor.fm uh, forward slash smash this podcast and all over the place. Yes, there you go, guys. Very nice. Get a hold of J Bone. Connect our show right here. All social media is that we talk impact Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. These are all back up now. So you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at we talk impact. Just type in we talk impact or just type in total nonstop impact. We come up, uh, we come right away as well. Check that out. All audio platforms for audio versions of the show. Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Tuner Radio, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon. Rate, review, and subscribe, please, guys. And the more you rate us, the more you listen, the more the algorithm goes up and more Impact fans find us. Speaking of that, the Impact fan community on Discord, the chat, 
uh, the uh, description has the link to our Discord. Join it. It is free to join. And if you are a patron, you get a private chat room, the Treehouse. And uh, as some of our most loyal listeners who are in here tonight can tell you, the Treehouse is awesome. Not that the other public rooms are not. They're a blast, too. Treehouse is great. Give that a shot as well. Don't forget, guys. Uh, also, merch, prosingtees.com slash total nonstop impact. Spreadshirt, total nonstop impact merchandise. The link, if you go to the We Talk Impact on Twitter bio, our um, link tree has everything in there, including our Spreadshirt store. Uh, J1, is, in, is, it, is it in the description of this video, too? It is. Okay, they're, spread they're your both, link. They're both together. There we are. Go get them all, guys. Tons of TNI merch going on. Tons. J Bone has put everything on 69 items. Uh, I swear he's not a perv. 69 items. I it least, just ever. ended up that way, folks. It's, <laughs> uh, it's a good check that out. <laughs> Zach, you wrote us a great review. What are you talking about? I saw your review on Apple uh, on iTunes. Thank you. You're, you're a very kind individual for that. Uh, Maybe sometimes you're an asshole to me though, but you're a nice guy. <laughs> but he, uh, he, he's a smart ass, and better to be a smart ass than a dumb ass. That's true. That's right. And he knows his pop culture. I'll give him that. He definitely knows his pop culture trivia. That's for sure. He does. Uh, but check that out. Got connect with us, guys. Our uh, socials, everything is in there. Don't forget connect with the team as well. Let us know what you think of the show. We love feedback. Give us all your feedback. We absolutely love to hear it. Twitch.tv slash Total Nonstop Impact. Uh, youtube.com slash told not something back for your visuals. I talked to Mark about maybe because Twitch is like kind of kind of ish dead uh, because Impact's not doing a co-stream anymore. We still encourage you guys, if you have Amazon Prime, use your Prime, get a free sub, sub to us. We appreciate that. But thinking about doing just exclusive Twitch <laughs> chats, like kind of one of those deals, Jay, where like anybody's just around and bored. Like if we're just, hey, uh, just Twitch only, jump on, shoot the shit about something, whatever, with people. There you go, something. once in a while, yeah. Just if you're like nothing to do, you're like, yeah, I'm going to go on Twitch, you know, whatever. So yeah. Russo does that a lot, just kind of goes on and shoots the shit a little bit. So and not a bad up, way. And then he uploads them later to like YouTube and shit. Yeah, if it's whatever. worth uploading, you know, put on YouTube, <clears> whatever. So anyway, you know, I found out, speaking of which, I found out today that Jim Cornette on his YouTube channel, he gets thousands of plays because they clip his main show. And they put like the little comic and great, you know, big controversial topics. He is making Jay a pre tax and pre expenses and cuts and everything like that $50,000 a month on YouTube. Can you believe this? Holy crap! $50,000 a month on YouTube. Fucking marks. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's what that, that Hughesy Cold. was saying today. Cold Hughes of Cornet. I'm telling you, man. I, I I was like, that sounds like a lot, but that huge Hughie or Hughesy who does uh keep it at 100 stuff, like keep it at 100 is making like 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 15 grand a month or something on theirs. But then you know, again, these are industry people. But yeah. he was like, he's like, we calculated that Cornet's doing 50 grand, and that's fucking nuts to me if he's making 600k a year on youtube not out of the, out of the realm though and there's these punks playing video games making a million so who knows but you, and it's Jim you, you never know when it's who's gonna really, find your stuff and wants yeah. to throw some cash your way you know it's know, true man. it's true man he's uh it, it's that's crazy but uh so for our little show our little engine that could guys <laughs> so we're about to make fifty dollars. So, hey, Cornette, we're coming for you. I mean, Cornette, thanks, thanks, Booker. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you again very much. We appreciate it. Don't forget to join TNI UK tomorrow afternoon. Flagship on Thursday. Still content to come at you. Uh, Knockouts, knockdown is this Saturday. Is there a plan for that, J Bone? Uh, didn't plan for that one. I'll be in your neck of the woods, Jay. I think I'm going to Crusher Fest on Saturday. Oh. That's up by you. I heard that there's something going on yeah. with like Eric Bischoff and Medusa. Yeah, and... yeah. They're doing like an AWA reunion thing on Friday. That then... that's a that's a uh Great Lakes Championship Wrestling special like QA yeah. show it's, somewhere. It's thing. been going on all week. This whole <clears throat> this fest, this fest, Crusher Fest. Saturday, I think, is a show. And I'm going to scout some talent there. So we'll see. 
Nice. But uh, so I won't be on Knockouts Knockdown, but we'll, maybe we'll, I'm sure we'll have a, pr- a plan for it, guys. Anyway. We'll, we'll see what's going on. I'm going to have my son, and I usually work all this stuff out, but uh, no promises, but I'm going we'll to try out. like hell to get something going. We'll if figure not, it out. we'll plan it for like a Sunday night or Monday yeah. or something. We'll get it to you somehow, for sure. <laughs> Anyway, all right, guys, that's going to do it for us. We thank you all for joining us. Have a great uh, Wednesday. It's Wednesday for some of you guys. It's Wednesday for us now, so fuck. <laughs> it's late. Thanks for hanging out late with us. I appreciate everybody adjusting for the uh, for the time for me. And uh, and we will be, yeah, it's my fault. We'll be back uh, with, t- with Time Machine Tuesday next Tuesday for NWA TNA number 88. So everybody, have a great uh, rest of your week. Have a great night. Sleep well. And uh, we'll talk to you uh, later. We might have to get ourselves tested after this. Jesus Christ, Jay. <laughs> what the hell is that? Something? <laughs> Sorry. We're out of here. Thanks, everybody. See you. <laughs>